Pembrokeshire is a great place to come to study geology because there's a huge variety of sites within a short distance so it's really compact. Once you get here the centres are ideally located so the sites are nearby. The facilities at the centre are really good. We've got three accommodation blocks here. We can cater for 140 and we can provide really kind of comfortable accommodation. This group's from Plymouth Uni, a second year group, and they've come to do lots of kind of practical stuff, kind of mapping, and it's a really good place in the UK to do geology. If you want a career in the UK, it's kind of one of the best places to start. We've come here for a week. We've got second year geologists. This is kind of like a boot camp for them, really, before a month's geological mapping somewhere in the world. The thing about Pembrokeshire is it's kind of a fairly unique place in British geology because there are a kind of series of plate collisional events that basically stuck Britain together like a jigsaw puzzle. Pembrokeshire is the only place in Britain that you can see these events very close together, so it's like a collision zone. We spent kind of the morning basically looking at all the different rocks, marking down kind of points of interest, getting a general kind of overview of the landscape and all the rocks that we're going to be mapping later on. I'd say it's a really good experience, like you're learning different types of geology in different areas of learning to appreciate it and we've got like gabbros, meta sediments. It's an incredible it's, it's geology location, design, yeah. yeah, it's a really cool location for geology. It's got amazing different boundaries. There's not many places you get exposures like that. Having a specific field facility with study rooms to sort of support you, it's a lot more relaxing. The food's good, good. The food's nice. really good. Food's it wakes nice. you up in the morning when you get a nice cooked breakfast, that's pretty good. <laughs> We haven't had to stop at supermarkets to buy food and the students come home and cook, you know, they can just have their food and then they can get on with work. These classrooms are quite good. We have places yeah. we stay before, we don't normally get this, we kind of sat on our beds. I think a lot of them kind of value having a place they can go and work quietly out of the noise and stuff, so that's really good to have that facility as well. We've got really good waterproofs at the centre. We've got a drying room, so if they get wet, they can put their clothes in to get dried, they can have hot showers when they get back. For teaching, we use Sid Howells, who's a local consultant geologist. He's been teaching in this area for over 35 years. We've got 200 miles of amazing coastline with a clean geological exposure, a very wide range of rock types in age from late Precambrian right through to late Carboniferous. There are fantastic locations nearby for teaching geology. There's St David's Head, which has sedimentary and igneous rocks. At Saundersfoot, there's the Ladies' Cave Anticline, Stackpole Quay, sedimentary rock, lots of fossils. Marlow Sands is an amazing place. It's the finest exposure of Silurian, sedimentary and volcanic rock in the UK.